are you are you, were you shocked by this? Is is your taxpayer dollars and DA time be be spent on your father? Dr. Drew, shock is not the word for it. It's it's anger, shock, disbelief. It, it's it's so many things. It's it's hard to fathom. I I have a hard time even trying to comprehend what Dad is going through right now yeah. because he had to add the. Uh, not only the the denial of being with his wife, uh, watching her progress with her dementia, uh, moving into a care center, uh, not being able to see her, and then ultimately her death, and then being charged with rape. Wow! Yeah. The DA should be. I'm sorry. Should be ashamed of themselves. I, it seems to me. I mean, guy. But let me let me ask this: the prosecutors say your father confessed. And there was something about that confession that you say was not accurate. Can you set that record straight? Well, the interview was very speculative. There's a lot of parts of the interview. It was close to a two-hour interview. Um, again, if, if you take bits and pieces out of the interview, yeah, you could consider it uh, a confession. But only if you piecemeal it together is, is the actual what the state is saying their confession and basically that's what they're hanging their hat on right now is this speculative interview. Dale, why do you think that uh, your dad's deceased wife's two daughters have it out for him? What do you think is motivating them? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can pinpoint anything in particular, whether it be the daughters, whether it be the prosecutor, whether it be the state. That's all very speculative at this point and that's something we hope through all the paperwork, all the court proceedings is brought to light so that we can actually figure out what's going on. But to speculate, I, I can't I can't even begin to speculate. We, we've got some ideas, but again, it's just speculation. All right, Dale, thank you for joining us. We'll kind of keep an eye on the story. I, I, we, we, uh... You know, we have a panel of professionals here, and everyone, as they put it together, can't can't imagine. Now, maybe the DA has some information that we're not aware of, but it, it's just hard to get our head around. Judy, let me let me just share a little more data here. You, apparently, they did the mini mental status exam on her, and initially she was a a two, and then a zero. And it was the fact that during this last year that she was a zero, meaning she couldn't respond to anything, has people saying that she was really incapable of any sort of consent. Do you agree with that? I don't agree with that. As you mentioned in the last segment, Dr. Drew, there is a Swiss cheese effect to Alzheimer's and the way that it deteriorates. And the mini mental state exam really only looks at a, a, a really small subset, actually, of your cognitive functions. There are things that are um, about your the dates of today, whether or not you can remember three items, whether or not you can count backwards. It doesn't actually get at your autobiographical memory, and, which is and, the last thing to go. And your affect, what, what right. you're feeling, what your motivations are. That, uh, Kirsten, you're shaking your head, not, nodding to that. that. That all is not something we measure through a cognitive exam.